Thought I'd do an update on the system. It's been a few weeks. We lightened the load of fish. Probably took about 40 goldfish to the pet store. And they'll uh, sell them off as feeder goldfish. Just had too many solids building up. Uh, had more nitrates than I needed. It was kind of a pain to clean the tank so often. So uh, we lightened a load of fish. And um, that's one thing we did. You can see the melon is growing a lot. We've had a hard time pollinating. So here's one example of a female flower. And uh, when it's been open, I'll take one of the male flowers and I'll strip it of the petals and I'll insert it right into the female. I'll, I've tried Q-tip method, um, direct contact of the male pollen to the female pollen. There's another female flower right here. Uh, so far, we're getting a lot of these, which are aborted female flowers. Um, not any melons yet though. So we'll just kind of let it go a little longer. We did, this is actually only one melon plant now. The other two I took outside uh, and it's too early to grow melons so they actually died pretty quick. But I was going to rip them out either way. So uh, here's our thyme. Peppers are doing great. So uh, we have been successful at pollinating those. You can see one of my one of my peppers right here. Focus it. This is an easy plant to pollinate by hand um, because the flowers have both male and female parts in them. And so I'll actually show you how we do it. So I've got my Sonicare toothbrush. Found this this uh, technique online. Actually, just take the tip of the toothbrush or the back of it and vibrate it near the flower. And if you look really close, you see like a big puff of pollen come off of it when it does. And so far it's been successful. We've got several of these little peppers here coming along. So they're going well. Uh, basil is doing very well. Got lots of basil. Tomatoes, I've been pollinating the same way. And you can see, sorry we're having some focusing issues. You can see that's been successful as well. I've got a couple of little tomatoes gone. So same thing, I just take the back of the toothbrush head and vibrate against it like that. And you'll see a little pollen dropping. Anyway. I also forgot to mention that I was unsuccessful at saving the koi that I talked about last time. Uh, he did end up struggling uh, upside down for about two days and then finally um, stopped breeding altogether. So uh, we were sad to lose him and it was sad to watch him kind of fight to breathe So uh, for, for those two days. Um, so we actually got a few more koi. And so now we have eight koi among all these goldfish. So we can see two, uh, three of them right there. There's one, two, three, and there's a fourth black and white one back there. Um, we've got the big one here, the orange one. She's been with me from the very start. Uh, there's black, uh, orange, and the white one there. Anyway, so yeah, we're increasing our ratio of koi.